In late 2020, the Mission Amplification team began a project of surveying the congregations in the Diocese of Texas, including missions, parishes, church plants, and campus missions. We asked a series of questions of the head of each congregation, clergy or lay, with another congregational leader when possible. Our hope was to learn from the experiences of congregations during the pandemic. By compiling data and identifying patterns, we could offer learnings to the whole diocese. The information also helps us determine how the diocesan staff and others can best support congregations during this time. This video presents data we gathered and what we think it means. It is based on surveys of 152 congregations between November 2020 and January 2021, representing 90% of the 169 congregations we invited. Overall, just over half of EDOT congregations said that even in a year as extraordinary as 2020, their experience of congregational life was about the same as the previous year, and over 17% said that it was better. This speaks to how committed our core communities are in most congregations. In those places, healthy stewardship and volunteerism practices are already in place and congregational leaders quickly adapted online worship and fellowship that allowed congregants to participate and connect with each other. We want to help expand those good practices. Even considering how much growth we have seen in missional community numbers over the last five years, it remains the case that most of this work is being conducted by less than a quarter of EDOT congregations. These communities are small batch expressions of Episcopal community for those who cannot or will not attend a traditional church. To date, due to these communities, over 1,000 people are a part of our diocese who would not otherwise have been connected. The Mission AMP team continues to provide training and resources for those hoping to do this faithful, gospel-oriented work. Most congregations observed the economic impacts of the pandemic on their surrounding community in increased poverty, greater unemployment, and more business closures, as well as a rise in food and housing insecurity. They also saw the anxieties generated by a contentious election season and a year of heightened racial tension. It is a healthy sign that congregations are aware of these challenges and empathize with what their neighbors are facing. That said, there is still a lot of room for continued growth in listening to others, as well as more work to be done in seeking God's presence in the communities we serve. Unfortunately, nearly 45% of EDOT congregations saw their connection to the neighborhood decrease during the COVID-19 pandemic. This was in great part due to the limitations required for the safety of both congregants and neighbors. Mission AMP observed that congregations who increased their neighborhood connection made sure that the campus exhibited signs of life on campus throughout the week so that others knew that the church was still operating. They also partnered with others to provide aid to those in need and they did this work on their campus. They were intentional about combining a robust and consistent online presence with an effective virtual visitor follow-up process. We are committed to helping congregations figure out how to do this in your context. When we asked congregational leaders for one or two of the most helpful things they had learned as a community, we saw several themes emerge. A word cloud, like the one you see here, shows how frequently particular words repeat in the answers by the size they appear. The most commonly repeated words were people, community, and church, followed by online and technology. Other words connected to those ideas appear throughout the word cloud as well. You can see support, mutual, interaction, love, fellowship, and supportive, just to name a few. Congregations learn just how much they valued community. The connections among people matter a lot. They also learned a number of new skills as they tried to replicate a sense of community online through worship, formation, and fellowship offerings. 
So what about the traditional ways of measuring how we're doing? 31% of EDOT congregations experienced worship attendance that was about the same during the pandemic as the previous year. Much of this is due to quick online adaptation and the willingness of leaders to learn new skills. That said, 45% of our congregations saw decreased attendance. The range of reasons is wide, including the digital divide within many communities and the impact of hurricanes in regions in which membership dropped as people moved away after losing homes and businesses. In other words, attendance decreases were often due to several factors outside of a congregation's control. Interestingly, though, almost a quarter of our congregations saw an increase in attendance, meaning that those congregations were able to reach new households who may not have participated in the past through their online offerings. What this tells us is that it is possible to reach new populations through engaging online worship. The foundations were essential to this in providing funding for technology grants to 93 congregations. And helping support congregations in creating engaging worship will be a priority for Mission AMP in 2021. We also asked leaders about the church's financial situation. This was surprisingly good news for many. Almost 46% of EDOT congregations experienced an overall financial picture about the same as 2019, and nearly a quarter said their finances were in better shape. Because COVID-19 limited the programming congregations could offer, many expenses were reduced. Additionally, congregations had access to funds through PPP loans and diocesan assessment grants. On the other hand, many of the approximately 30% of congregations who said their finances had suffered a downturn are heavily dependent on plate income and serve communities who have experienced the greatest economic impact of COVID-19. They were included in the 43% of congregations who saw a decrease in financial giving. The approximately 58% of congregations who stayed the same or improved in giving were transparent with regard to their financial situation. They were clear about the need to continue their mission and intentional about pointing people toward the ways to give. Many congregations, however, felt that a lower key approach to financial stewardship was necessary in a year of hardship. The finance team is continuing to monitor which congregations are most adversely affected financially. The changes in giving impacted plans for 2021 budgets. While almost 40% of congregations anticipated their 2021 budgets would be lower than 2020s, only 5.3% expected them to be significantly lower. While many congregations were surveyed before they saw the results of their 2020 financial stewardship requests, the fact that 60% expected budgets to be the same or higher in 2021 reflects a degree of optimism, despite the frustrations of a very difficult year. Congregations are beginning to see the long-term financial effects of the pandemic for 2021 and beyond and the diocesan staff stands ready to help leaders respond. Even in a turbulent and difficult year, every congregation could find something to celebrate. One thing that stood out time and again during our conversations is how proud heads of congregation were of their members. People, the relationships within our congregations were a source of joy named in nearly every call the care for one another, resilience and agility that parishioners demonstrated inspired congregational leaders. The Mission AMP team and all diocesan leaders give thanks for you all as well. The corollary to celebrating people is the struggle of being separated. Laments of missing genuine Christian fellowship and frustration around the difficulty connecting were heard repeatedly which is a sobering reminder of the isolation many within and outside of our congregations have experienced. As congregations live into a new season of hybrid in-person and online worship, 
how best to stay connected to one another will remain a top priority. Congregations are seeking effective practices for engaging both neighbors and guests, while striving to reach out to those who will not feel safe in person, but lack the technology for online connection. When we asked about new ministries adopted in 2020, we found churches were more likely to focus on transforming what they were already doing. Nearly every church explored ways to worship together online and tried new approaches to fellowship without gathering in person. Rethinking communication was important, and we saw the return of the old-fashioned phone tree as a way of checking on each other. Mission and outreach required reimagining as well. Congregations already invested in their communities found creative ways to reach out and serve safely, adding new projects in response to what they learned their neighbors needed. If we were to distill the learnings of this project down to a single thought, it would be this. Congregations who prioritize the fundamentals of being church, worship, fellowship, and mission, and reimagined them in a new context were the most optimistic about the present and the future. For some, staying healthy also meant letting go of what was non-essential in order to focus on what is. Mission AMP will be helping congregations think through what is possible for those areas in this next season of life together, including the formation that prepares people to do them faithfully and well. On behalf of the Mission AMP team, the bishops, and the whole diocesan staff, thank you for taking the time to have these conversations. And thank you for allowing us to pray for you, a practice we will continue throughout the year. It is always our privilege to learn from you, and we are grateful for your willingness to share both your celebrations and your struggles. We continue to digest these learnings in hopes of connecting you to the resources you need, both now and as we go forward. We will continue to share what we learn throughout the year. In the meantime, you can always reach out to me or your Mission Amp liaison with questions, concerns, or suggestions. May God bless you and keep you well.